me always trying to use like a tissue box or like whatever as a tripod. Um, <laughs> Frick, okay. Hello, humans of the internet. I was literally about to start this live by being like, good morning. Um, I'm in Vegas. I'm like saying it. Well, I was literally about to say what I'm saying. Like, this is an Instagram live. I've been vlogging so much. I'm so used to talking about my vlog. Sorry. Um, I haven't been live in a minute. There are 10,000 people in here. That's like fucking crazy. Um, yeah, I literally just woke up. Um, and like, fun fact about me, I, in the past four days, last night was like the first like real night of sleep that I've gotten. Like at all. Um, cause I was shooting a music video. I had to make that MTV announcement video so I didn't sleep that night at all. Um, and then the night before last night, I literally slept for four hours and then got up and went to Vegas. Got to Vegas, went out, did shit with Zed, Ashley and all that shit. Um, so, Reese, I love you so much. I'm actually your biggest fan, so, um, what? Um, but... I just want to say thank you again. I feel like I feel like the next few months leading up to my reality show are just gonna also me taking off last night's makeup at 3 p.m. in Las Vegas on Instagram Live is me. Um, but um I just want to say thank you for all of the love and support on everything right now. Um, like let alone my breakup or anything really, you know, but the love on this reality show is so crazy i don't know what it is about my indirects right now on twitter but they are just making me so emotional it's insane um knowing that that many people are excited for me to have a reality show you know i i don't know i just everything is so fucking sick right now and i'm definitely trying to focus on the positive um yeah um, oh my god, I miss you guys. You guys are so sweet, literally. Uh, Janicon is not coming along. Talk to Jake. <laughs> um, a lot of people are asking about Brad's apology video, which I'm sure, you know, I'm not living for, I think. Um, there was definitely a little bit of honesty in there, which I appreciate and I do think he's beginning to come to terms with it himself and kind of um yeah I don't know stop living a lie I guess I, I definitely wish it was like everything I found out not like one tenth of it you know um but that's just life and again I don't want anyone to get crucified so I'm kind of over talking about that shit um I don't know Definitely wish that the things in that video were... Just, I'm like, I'm done talking about it. I continue to talk about it. That was like a hangover burp. It was super fun. Um, I definitely wish those things were said to me, you know, before the internet. I, I was literally trying to talk to him last night about how fucked up all this shit is. And he didn't want anyone that I woke up to that video, so... Yeah, I, I don't even know. Whatever. Fuck it. Reality show. Yeah, it's very weird announcing your reality show that you've spent the last nine months working on in the midst of a breakup. Uh, kind of makes something so awesome a little bittersweet, I can't lie. But um, at the same time, I'm still so excited. I really thought I was going into this MTV show with a boyfriend. Now, single tenant, it's a reality show, which <laughs> is almost better. Because single tan is fucking wild. Uh, oh my god, I have a zit. I'm gonna pop it. Love that. <laughs> Everyone's also been asking, like, who's gonna be on the show? Because um, I definitely do have, like, a lot of friends and a lot of people in my life that I love and care about. And I'm gonna definitely do some videos talking about all of that as well. Um, but the main cast is definitely me, Ashley, Amari, Jordan, Jenna, Trevor, and everyone on, like, my business teams and stuff, um, assistants, all that, like, all that jazz. 
that makes sense. Um, and yeah, we still have a lot to shoot as well. If people have been asking if it was like already filmed and know if anything, um, we're gonna be filming so much stuff. Dude, this hotel room is so nice, by the way. But I wanna show you guys. Oh my God, there's makeup everywhere. I'm so gross. Like, I'm so, so bad at keeping the hotel rooms. Not the worst, but. Like, it's so cute in here. I'm like, but look, it's like so cute. Um, I'm just doing my skincare routine now. Um, I had to sleep in a Fashion Nova bodysuit last night because I didn't fucking pack pajamas or big t shirt. But. Yeah, I guess if you guys have any questions about anything that's going on in my life right now, and you want to ask them right now, I'm like, right now, right now, right now, um, feel free to shoot. Uh, and I just, like, hope people know, I guess. Again, I know I've said this, but like, just because I have this reality show or whatever now, like, I'm still fucking Canna. And um, I'm still going to be, like, transparent as fuck with you guys. That's, again, why I wanted to work with MTV. Because I could still, like, be me. And not some contrived version of me. So anything I can, like, answer. If you have questions, I will. Um, and thank you to everybody showing me so much love. And telling me to stay strong. And... All that kind of shit. Because, again, like I said in my video, I'm literally just a human being. So, you guys lifting me up is so nice. I asked everyone to ask me questions and everyone was just saying, Jana. <laughs> over and over again. Uh, I guess that is kind of a question. But... I'm going to do my skincare routine right now, but I'm like... Really wanting to save it for a video for my vlog channel, and I'm missing like a important product, so yeah, I'm not gonna do that right now. Oh, shit. A tour is definitely still happening, Julia. Definitely, um, just like in August or September, I think. I want to do it as soon as possible, but I think it's it's really hard to get everything you want on tour. I feel like when it comes to touring, it's, it's almost like you have to kind of like sacrifice things. Jordan's, sorry, Jordan was blowing up my text. Um, <laughs> dude, I'm about to do a skincare routine right now and Jordan's texting me, Duval, 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 because I always use a Duval spin brush. I actually did bring one. <laughs> Hi, Jordan. Um, I'm like, this is the Duval spin brush that I use every day. I'm about to use it on my armpits in the shower to get the tan away. Use Coke Tana. It's amazing. For 70% off also. I'm like, I swear to God, one day Duval's going to wake up and give me a fucking 10% off code like any other normal company. But until then, if you want 70% off my favorite spin brush, it's a thing. There you go, Jordan. Um, but what was I talking about? Oh, a tour. Um, a touring. To get everything you want is really hard. I think that it really is a, a moment of like sacrifice. It's like, okay, well, if you want the prices to be like this, then like you have to have less employees so that the show, but then like the show is worse. Or it's like, okay, we can give you this amazing tour, but there's no tour bus and you have to fly everywhere, which means I'm gonna be fucking exhausted at all times, which means I might not be able to give my best show. And, like, ticket pricing is a really, really big thing for me. And, obviously, I want to be able to profit and pay everyone around me really well and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, like, I don't want that to come with um, charging you guys too much, I guess. And, oh, my God, I also have something I really want to talk about later. Um... This live stream is literally just me spilling all of the fucking tea, but with James and everything that's going on with him right now in the public, I think someone's really trying to slander the fuck out of him that used him, and it's, he can't really say shit, and it's really, as a best friend, infuriating. Um, so I definitely want to talk about that later. Um, yeah. 
can only use an exfoliating mitt for my face and I don't have it and I don't know where it is and I'm sad. Mm. I have the water on like the lowest possible setting. By the way. Mm. Mm. Someone said you look so vibrant and glowy and we're a bitch. It is the hangover. Um, Yeah, someone made a video about James. It is just so far from the truth. Um, and I know that because I was there for the things that the person is describing. Not even necessarily that, um, um, like obviously if James came to me and was like someone's lying about me, I would believe him, he's my best friend. But I think it's, it hits differently when it's like you were there for the moment someone's lying about online. Oh my god, all that makeup that I thought I took off for the makeup wipe, you. Um, and it's, it's just really serious allegations that I feel like James is in a place where he like can't negate them because it could look insensitive and it's just like, fuck. <sighs> the internet makes me sad for James. I'm not saying he's like perfect or that I'm perfect or anything like that, but I just guess it's like, he's just a kid who's passionate about makeup and makes mistakes like the rest of us. And I think people, because he's so famous, love to just like scrutinize him, use him, pick him apart, get mad at him for absolutely everything. And it makes me really sad because he's one of the very few creators that are actually really passionate about this industry and what they're doing and won't lie to their fans and won't sell out like, for brands and just like so many different things. So when I see people really trying to like come for him, it makes me really sad, especially when it's based on lies. And James just really loved this person and this person was definitely making James think that, I don't even know, they were gonna be together. Um, I'm not talking about um, Tati either, I love Tati. I'm talking about a boy. Um, I'm not talking about makeup community drama either. Like imagine my ass coming on Instagram live to like weigh in on beauty community drama. Like fuck, that would just be the worst thing ever. It's more personal, you know? And that's again, I guess why I'm so defensive too because it's not even like it's over like vitamins or whatever. Like y'all can figure that shit out. It's like over, I don't know, someone allegating really serious claims against James that I personally know aren't true. I can't wait to do my skincare routine on my vlog channel. Um, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions about my life right now, I know it's definitely a roller coaster. And if you're confused, just imagine how I fucking feel. Um, but seriously, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, Tana Paraphernalia is something I would love to have and hopefully we'll see really soon. Uh, I really want to do like, I don't want to say this right now and then like it take me a while and people be like, oh my God, this one time on Instagram live, you said you were going to do this, like why aren't it? But like a week of story times where for like seven days, five days, something like that, every day I post a really crazy story and I know the ones I want to tell too, you know? Um, but like, they're intense and they're, they're all gonna get me into their own versions of trouble, whether it's like real life or internet or mm, just oof, you know? Oh my God, I'm gonna start doing my skincare routine on Instagram Live more like this is so nice. A stalker update in depth is definitely a thing I wanna do, obviously. I am really excited if something happens during the reality show to try to like, you know, show it in real time and like what it really does to me. Mm. Awesome, someone said I love you. Thanks for spending time with me on Instagram Live, bestie. That is literally so cute, I will cry. Like, I fucking love you. Thank you guys for listening to me talk about, like, whatever. Um, yeah. 
Okay. I feel like that was a... My skincare routine is done. Um, I feel like that was a really good IG Live moment. There's a lot of shit I really wanted to talk about. And kind of definitely touched on a lot of those. Um, I love you guys so much. And I do still have the Melbourne bracelet that you gave me. Um, I see it every day, actually. It's in my bathroom. But, um, yeah. I think I'm gonna go now. I have to go do a bunch of shit in Vegas. I'm like, because I'm from here and I'm like so quirky. But I want to go live a lot more. I'm like, to promote my new reality show on MTV. <laughs> so, <coughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here for me through everything and being excited for me and supporting me. And I don't even know. None of this would be possible without you guys, but also to see myself finally talking about it and you guys being just like so awesome and also for me to announce something so amazing during something so hard to have you guys kind of be there for me to pick me up and lift me up and help me focus on what matters is really sick and that's why you guys are legit like my best friends on earth um yeah i'm gonna fuck off i'm like scandalous hoodie and joggers could be gone really soon so if you want to go to fanjoy.co slash tana and get those before they're gone that would be amazing okay Bye, guys. I love you. I think I'll save this live so people know the tea.